Hi friends, I, I'm thankful that you joined me today on Between the Sundays. As I said last week, we're going to be focusing for a little while on anxiety. And my plan is to go through verses that have to do with fear and anxiety in the Bible and, and really break them apart and look at them closely. We will have it affect us, but we do have a choice in whether we stay focused on it or not, and and if we can nip it in the bud as soon as it starts to really attack us, um, we can overcome those thoughts, but we have to work at it. We have to, we have to make those choices and actually put into place some of these practices and as we do that we will see God giving us peace and I want that for you I really do I I want that for me and for you there are times when I still struggle with it because I don't grab onto these practices because I choose to wallow in my thoughts and and I know that just takes me downhill so fast. And I, I want us all to have victory in this area. So this is, that's why I'm making these. So I just wanted to look at two verses today. The first one is John 14, 27, and I have it written in the English Standard Version, which is the ESV, if you're like using the Bible app or anything. It says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So he gives us peace that is beyond what we can find in the world, right? When we are looking to other sources to help us deal with, to help us cope, you know, people use all kinds of things, drugs, alcohol, whatever source of comfort you find and but it's fleeting isn't it it just lasts for the time that we're doing it and 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 then we go back right right back to being unpeaceful again it was a short diversion but God actually gives us peace that will last I have seen this in my life when as I said when I choose to do some of these practices and one of them is to grab a hold of a verse and instead of focusing on whatever it is that is consuming me or making me anxious I start to say that verse out loud and it refocuses my mind truly and then I start to pray and say you know God help me and focus my mind on this and I just you know, maybe turn on worship music or listen to the Bible app because they have audio on there as well if I'm doing something else. Or just spend some time in prayer. And, you know, all of those things help so much because, it's, again, it sets our minds on things above. Um, it helps us to focus on Him and things that really matter, right? And the other verse I wanted us to look at was Isaiah 26, 3. And I have this written in the New Living Translation. And it says, You will keep in perfect peace all who's, who trust in you, whose thoughts are fixed on you. So, again, we have to fix our minds on God, right? You know, it has helped me immensely to start thinking about his character. So, and I need
going to do a video on that as well. But just going through some of God's attributes and saying, okay, he is faithful, he is good, he is kind, he is loving. He's going to help me through this if I turn to him. And I know this because he says he will keep in perfect peace all who trust in him. If, we're thought, if our thoughts are fixed on him, if we're choosing to look to him to solve our thoughts, right? You have a certain verse that you know speaks to you, and you know that Satan attacks you in this area, then just put it in your on your dash in the car or you know, on the refrigerator or wherever you will see it often and and go to that and claim it when anxiety starts to attack you. I so want this for you. I hope, truly, truly hope that you can tell that I am not taking this lightly. I know it is a hard thing to deal with, but I so want victory for you. And I am praying for you guys and people that see these videos that, that God would use them for his glory and, and to touch hearts in ways that need, it, need him to touch them. If they help you at all, if there's any um, nugget of truth in them that maybe you didn't hear before and you know someone that is going through anxiety Please share it with them. I really want this to reach people that it will be of help to. And I know I've had to learn much of this the hard way. So I would really love to save some people from having to do that if I can. I'm just going to pray for us. Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you that you care about us. Thank you that you care about our needs. And part of that need is having peace. Lord, I pray that you would just help each of us to turn to you as soon as we start having anxious thoughts, as soon as we start getting overwhelmed by these things, Lord, that we would just surrender them to you, that we would give them to you and let you handle them instead of trying to handle them on our own. Thank you for each person, Lord. Thank you that you love us and you will help us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a wonderful day, friends. I hope to see you again between the Sundays.